Imagine a world where submarines, traditionally the silent stalkers of the deep, can now detect and track aircraft flying miles above the ocean's surface. Chinese scientists have recently claimed a groundbreaking development, the world's first seabed radar capable of such feats. This innovation could revolutionize naval warfare, turning submarines from passive observers into active hunters. In this video, we'll explore the science behind this technology and how it might reshape global naval strategies. For decades, detecting high-altitude aircraft from the ocean's depths was considered impossible. Sound waves from an aircraft typically bounce off the ocean's surface, with only a tiny fraction penetrating the water. These weak signals become distorted as they travel through layers of seawater, which vary in temperature, density, and salinity. Until now, no country had developed a method to overcome these challenges. But Chinese scientists claim they have found a way. A research team led by Zhang Bo and Peng Zhaohui from the Chinese Academy of Sciences Institute of Acoustics devised an unconventional approach. Instead of relying on direct sound waves from aircraft, they theorized that a portion of these sound waves would reflect off the seabed, travel back up, and then bounce back down again. By capturing and analyzing these faint signals, they developed a method to enhance detection sensitivity allowing submarines to potentially detect aircraft thousands of meters above them. The breakthrough was tested in 2022 at a secret location. An acoustic sensor array was placed at a depth of 1,000 meters, and when a fixed-wing aircraft flew within 17 kilometers of the system at an altitude of 5,000 meters, the radar detected its position within seconds, with an error margin of less than one kilometer. These results, if accurate, would make it the world's first deep-sea radar capable of detecting high-altitude aircraft. However, the technology is far from perfect. The radar's detection range is still under 20 kilometers, which is too limited for effective military deployment. It also has a blind spot when aircraft fly directly overhead, meaning it cannot track targets in all directions. While the researchers claim to be working on refining its performance, no additional updates or improvements have been disclosed. If China succeeds in expanding the detection range and eliminating these weaknesses, this technology could become one of the most disruptive advancements in modern naval warfare. But how could this impact global military strategy? Let's dive into what this means for submarine warfare. Submarines have always relied on stealth to survive. But in recent years, aircraft equipped with advanced sensors, sonar buoys, and radar technology have made it easier than ever to detect and destroy submarines. This has given nations with strong air power, like the US, a significant advantage in anti-submarine warfare. China's seabed radar could change that dynamic entirely. If this technology is fully developed, submarines will no longer be just prey, they could become the hunters. Today, an enemy aircraft flying overhead can track and attack submarines before they even know they've been spotted. With seabed radar, submarines could detect those threats first, allowing them to launch long-range missiles from underwater before they are detected. This fundamentally shifts the power balance in naval combat. China's military strategy is built on layered defense networks, integrating satellites, surface radars, and reconnaissance aircraft to track enemy movements. This new deep-sea radar could become a key piece of that surveillance system, providing submarines with real-time intelligence on aircraft flying above. If China combines this technology with its hypersonic missile programs, it could drastically improve its ability to strike enemy aircraft and naval forces. But there are still big challenges. First, the limited detection range means submarines will only be able to track aircraft within 20 kilometers, far too short for real battlefield use. Second, the blind spot when aircraft fly directly overhead makes it easy for enemy forces to exploit weaknesses in the system. Another critical concern is countermeasures. The U.S. and its allies will likely respond by developing stealthier aircraft, electronic warfare tactics, and advanced jamming technologies to disrupt seabed radar signals. The U.S. Cyber Command could even attempt to hack into China's underwater surveillance network, making the system vulnerable to attacks. Additionally, while submarines might be able to detect aircraft earlier, that doesn't necessarily mean they can engage them effectively. Launching a missile from a submerged position still requires precise target tracking, 
something that current undersea radar may not yet be capable of. China's deep sea radar claims have sent shockwaves through the global defense community. If this technology becomes operational, it could force a major shift in naval warfare strategies, particularly for the United States, NATO, and Indo-Pacific allies like Japan, India, and Australia. The most immediate response from Western powers will likely be enhancing submarine and aircraft stealth technology. Since China's radar relies on capturing faint sound waves, the U.S. and its allies will work to develop quieter aircraft and submarines to make detection harder. Next-generation stealth bombers, like the B-21 radar and silent propulsion submarines, are already in development and could be modified to evade seabed radar detection. Another likely response is electronic warfare and countermeasures. The U.S. has invested heavily in active acoustic countermeasures, which generate fake signals to confuse enemy sonar and radar. Electronic warfare aircraft like the EA-18G Growler could also be deployed to jam seabed radar signals and disrupt China's ability to track airborne threats. A more aggressive approach could involve undersea surveillance drones. The U.S. Navy is currently developing autonomous underwater vehicles that could be used to locate and disable Chinese seabed radar arrays. These drones could be deployed undetected, effectively rendering the system useless. Geopolitically, China's new technology could also increase tensions in the South China Sea. If China starts deploying seabed radars across contested waters, it could be seen as an escalation of military presence, forcing neighboring countries like Vietnam and the Philippines to strengthen their own defense networks. The Quad Alliance, US, Japan, India, Australia, may accelerate efforts to counter Chinese naval expansion with joint surveillance operations. Looking ahead, the biggest question is, can China overcome the system's current limitations? If they expand the detection range beyond 20 kilometers and eliminate blind spots, it could truly change the nature of modern warfare. On the other hand, if the U.S. and its allies find effective countermeasures first, this breakthrough could turn into just another tool in the ongoing global arms race. Either way, one thing is clear. The future of naval warfare is heading into uncharted waters. China's development of seabed radar technology marks a significant milestone in military innovation. While still in its experimental stages, the potential applications of this system could transform naval warfare, shifting the balance of power beneath the waves. As with any technological advancement, it brings both opportunities and challenges, prompting nations worldwide to consider their strategies in this evolving landscape. The coming years will be crucial in determining how this technology develops and what it means for the future of global maritime security. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.